Hello, everybody, and welcome back to P10X. 10X, your productivity. I'm Antariksh, and we're back once again with another video. And today's video is about Chat GPT and it saving loads and loads of time, countless hours for students like you, like me, and like many of us. And you know what? There's no age to be a student. You can be a student at any age of anything. It's just about learning and refining your brain. to the maximum extent now there's a big taboo you know especially for students around in college and schools the chat gpt use karne se you know it's 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 pretty unethical and it's it's not something that you should do or you should indulge in and it's really like i i i don't even know I, in my opinion it should be promoted but rather than being promoted it is absolutely demonized and villainized in schools now I do get their perspective, and I do understand the fact that you know what I mean. They want students to use their own brains, and then they uh, you know don't want them to be lackluster in terms of creativity or trying to escape work by just getting everything done by charging. Everybody, I I respect that. I respect the opinion of of all the teachers there. But what we need to understand is that this is the future, whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or not. This is it. So. pretty much we should like sort of just get going and almost use it in a way where and it could be beneficial maybe not give assignments that are directly linked to just learning and cramming and then actually about application so that even if you have to get it done from chat gpt it requires a lot of a lot of i should say analysis and you know that so that the content that you're providing and you're getting you'll have that but then you need to analyze the content and then write something based on that so sort of these and i respect all teachers out there i respect everyone but that is how i believe because we cannot be deniers of ai because deniers of ai sooner rather than later do face the consequences of denying ai but with that moral lecture being over let us jump into that how are we going to start we're going to start by you know going on to chat gpt hopefully it is visible to all of you guys once we go on to chat gpt we will just start asking it basic questions now now i'm going to start telling you how we can use it so you can use it to um, get get answers to basic questions so we start off pretty slowly and uh, we ask just give me a second yeah so you ask uh, what yeah there you go what is water cycle and i'll, I'll provide a decent answer for that water cycle also known as the hydrogen cycle it's this it da 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 right so once you've done that i know what's is going to what it's going to tell me so you can you can ask follow up questions now that's the key you can't just ask questions it retains information so ask follow up questions we put up there so uh, tell me more about the precipitation point so i'll i'll just write the fourth point right certainly the fourth point precipitation right see there you go it's it's now going to tell me everything about from the formation to how and how and how and it's 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 just amazing the way it does and once it's done that we can now uh, you know even ask it a uh, right see it's still going on and on and on and on and on uh yeah i mean it 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 it'll keep going on so that that's pretty much uh, telling us what to do now this is basically you can ask simple questions and then you can even go and uh, ask ask sort of two and fro questions it's like a very smart friend that you have in in your lives and it just helps you out whenever you want to and you can take itself any 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 time right so once you've done that so now there's a very interesting feature to have uh, in a uh, chat gpt which is comparing and contrasting now what is comparing and contrasting i'm just going to copy a question that i had and once i've done that yeah they go uh, no uh, all right let me type a different one so uh, compare comma <laughs> compare and contrast the economic policies of usa and india right So now what are you going to do is compare and contrast, right? So it's it's going to tell me now. Look at this economic systems. Now it's it's telling about the economic system, the difference in economic system, the difference in industrial policy, 
So US was a liberal one and uh, we had a control, but until 1991. Uh, trade policy, fiscal policy, monetary policy. So it's basically doing such a wonderful job. Now, if, if you're writing an exam on it or anything like you, you don't need to just remember this, all of that. You would need to understand all of this. You would need to, you know, reflect upon all of this. Oh, wait. Could you could now 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 I'm gonna ask it about if if it could maybe give this to me in a tabular form, right? Could you give this in a tabular format with examples of each point, right? So now it's going to give me a table, hopefully, and then an example of each point, right? There you go. There you go. See, there's the point economic system. There's the example. There's the point industrial policy. There's the example. It's it's just phenomenal what you can do. It is just absolutely phenomenal. Matlab, as a student, you can just go out and see, this is what, like, if, if, you're, going to, if you're going to just learn stuff and not understand and then 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 it's of no use but if you go out there you you have a table in front of you and then you can have examples for every point that just makes your life very easy and also makes you a better student at heart now another feature that i'm going to tell you is summarizing articles yep summarizing articles is something that chat gpt really really loves to do because once it has done that it just absolutely changes the game for us because, right, I'm here. Yeah. So uh, summarizing articles, what it does is you you can you can just copy paste the article. You can ask questions about the article. You can get a summary. You can get detailed summary. Or if some certain points are created or some points are mentioned in the article, what you can do is you can just cherry pick those points and then learn about them solely from somewhere else or something else and stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's just go back onto this. Right. Once we've done that, we are just going to. Yeah, I have an article in front of me. Wait, if I could show you guys. Right. It's 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 a, it's an article from Investopedia. What I do is I just copy all of that and I just paste it here. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a lot of work, but I don't even need to, you know, uh, backspace all of this, all of these things like uh, Investopedia bikes, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. All I need to say is summarize. Wait. Um, wait, yeah. Sure. Summarize. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'll, I'll add the, I'll add the, <laughs> all right. Yeah, there you go. Inflation refers to the ice and blah, blah, blah. And it's it it has already started to give me or itne pure ka summary just so easily within seconds. How cool is that? How genuinely how cool is that? It's it's just amazing what it does. It's already given me a short summary. Now, if I don't like it, I'm like, nah. Um, you know what? Give me a detailed analysis. Yes, I know I mess up the spelling analysis of each sub point covered yeah and now it's it's gonna it's gonna sort of divide it into sub points definition measurement of inflation now it's gonna explain that to me once it's done that it's gonna go into the second point which is causes of inflation and it's gonna tell me all of the points that need that I need to know, you know, demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, built in inflation, everything that has been mentioned. Now, if I if I just stop it around here, right? And I ask, uh, tell me more. Tell me more about cost push. Inflate. Yeah, I'm not even going to type all of that. Tell me more about cost put, cost push inflation, and there you go. Right. So, <laughs> and now, now it's it's explaining all of that to me, and I'm like, input costs, supply shocks. What's all of this? I don't know all of this. 
आई 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 गेट ऑल ऑफ दिस मेरे को कुछ ये क्या हो रहा है मेरे साथ मुझे कुछ समझ क्यों नहीं आ रहा है ये क्या हो रहा है यू डोंट नीड टू डू दैट यू डोंट नीड टू डू दैट ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज फर्स्ट ऑफ जनरेटिंग एक्सप्लेन दिस टू मी लाइक ए 5 ईयर ओल्ड now while this may not be the best technique to know the nitty gritty of any particular topic but when you really want to understand the be all and end all of that you know mota mota lump sum this is this is the one all right let's 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 say you have a lemonade stand you use lemonade using water sugar lemons now suppose one day the store where you bought sugar increases the price of sugar because the sugar machine broke and they can't make as much sugar now the same amount of lemonade you need to spend more money because one of your components which is sugar is costing more so you decide to increase the price of your lemonade as a whole to get that money back in this story the more expensive sugar made your lemonade cost so uh wait uh make me understand the causes of this through components used in this example now i basically want to know the causes of uh <clears throat> causes of this inflation which is cost push or cost push inflation and now i want to know all of that with the components used in this example only now let's see what it does certainly let's break down the example to understand the causes right input costs in your lemonade stand example the ingredients like lemons sugar and water Are what you so input cost right supply shocks now there was a big storm and many lemon trees were damaged now lemons become rare and expensive production cost the total cost of making lemonade including is is, is gone up any of three imported inflation imagine you were buying lemons for a far, from a far away place suddenly it costs more because the increased transportation government regulations now tax on sugar to eat less sugar wow I mean this is just it's actually mind blowing how much you can understand and just. just learn about everything and absolutely just be in front of everyone because purely because you just know how to use chat gpt more and more right and before we go further it'll be a small request to check out the link in the description below because you can learn chat gpt like this and much and much better once you click on the link and you sign up for the workshop only for 9 rupees it's it's a meager 2 3 hours and a very 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 cut cost but it's going to be absolutely fantastic for you and your future and your skill set so don't forget to check that link out so moving on with the video now now it's it's about chat gpt and what it can do as i as i explained the child like information everything and how it can generate any 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 questions for you or anything now if you suppose a uh, want to i want to learn the fundamental rights and duties in the indian constitution yep i know i know i know wait let me fix it t Tuition, right? Uh, double I. Okay, well, that that's that's purely a keyboard thing. <laughs> I want to learn the fundamental rights and duties in the Indian Constitution. So, make a song explaining what each does. Right. So now I'm asking it to make a song for me on the fundamental rights and duties mentioned in the Indian Constitution. <laughs> There you go. In the land of colors, where the Ganga flows, lies the Constitution that gracefully bestows six fundamental rights to you and me: a promise of freedom and life with dignity, right to equality, stand tall with pride, and it just. <laughs> but but this is this is just so amazing, isn't it? Oh. Right to equality, stand tall with pride. No discrimination. Together we stride. Right to freedom, express what's inside. Speech and expression, nothing to hide. Right against exploitation, a shield so strong protects the weak from being wrong. Oh man, it's it's just absolutely amazing how how you can just use ChatGPT to learn so much more and in so little time. Now, if if I could just tell it, maybe you know, 
create analogies for me to understand what mitochondria does now you want to know what mitochondria does obviously it's known as the powerhouse of the cell and it's it said that but now i want an analogy what what the analogy is going to do is it's going to give me an almost real life situation to relate it to and then to understand better the power plant analogy imagine a city where all the buildings and facilities need electricity to operate the mitochondria is like the power plant of that city generating the electricity in the form of atp that every part needs to function properly it's 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 just so amazing mitochondria is like gas station gas chahiye gaadi chalane ke liye everything and everything it's 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 just amazing what it can do now for you wanted for research right give me links to 10 20 okay 20 articles maybe let me just do 10 nahi to fir wo time lagega type karne mein or 10 articles give me links to 10 articles about about india's economic growth from 2010 right give me give me links to 10 articles about india's economic growth from 2010 now what it's really see it has popped up with that cute little purple a box cuboid cuboid or something and i was going to search the internet and probably try to give me 10 articles Ugh, right uh, i apologize but i so see this really tells us that chat gpt can be human i mean not human but you know what i mean like it it can also fault us somewhere but still you know uh, however you can access the article of india's economic growth from 2010 by following the links below there you go and now it has given me all of these articles so now this can be used in research in um wait uh make right yeah make a detailed summary on the topics covered right now let's see if it can do that for us yeah there you go there you go there you go and now it has given me all of the summaries that i need so i already have 10 of these articles and then i can get a detailed summary of everything in between how cool is that so yeah this is this is all of what chat gpt can do for you as students and what you also can do for your own development as a student is sign up for the link down below and once you do that you're going to have access to the bestest of mentors to the bestest of teachers for you to learn chat gpt and ai tools and master them and save countless hours as a student not just as a student whether you're a working professional or an ai enthusiast an ai learner an ai advisor student it is for everyone so don't forget to check the link down below in the description and sign up for the workshop with that thank you so much to everyone take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you guys in a bit